Hey, hello everybody. On this video, we're going to be benchmarking the impact of throttling the CPU on games that actually use all the cores or most of your cores. So here we're testing Cyberpunk because it's, well, for me, it's the only one that actually uses all the cores or detects all the cores. It's not like Counter-Strike, which is like one core. No, just kidding. It detects others, but not that many. So let's begin. So right now, um, we're gonna just be testing inside the inside the game in specific place that I know that it lags a lot. Uh, here we're getting around 40, 40 FPS. Let's put it around 40. Let's just drive around. We're gonna go through like a bridge of some cops over there. And holy mother, Jesus. And come back. So you can get an idea, okay? So we got 40, we just got 39 there, or 38, I forgot, 38, okay? Come back, do remember that because I'm showing Mango HUD plus recording on OBS, I do lose a couple of FPS points there. In reality, just add like two more, maybe, three more and that's it. Okay, so coming back, that's it. During all that, you saw that the CPU was being used. Well, you can see the, the CPU usage at the top. So we're talking, what, 25%? Less than 50%, okay? Come back here, and there's a CPU throttling tool uh, by Concord that you can find on the GNOME um, extensions. I'll put the link in the description here that you can control your CPU. It actually detects all my CPUs properly. I'm going to put this in 50 and we're going to see the impact of basically putting losing 50% of the power that I could have with this throttling to 50%. Why would some people do this? Because of the temperature. See, the temperature is going down like really fast. So I'll come back to the game. Okay, now we're throttling to 3 giga, gigahertz instead of 5 point something. I it actually. I was able to actually get it to 6 gigahertz. That, that scared the hell out of me. But anyway, you can see that we went from 40 to 35. Four. Basically, we dropped um, a lot. I mean, compared to that 40 that we were used to. I can actually feel the lag. I can feel like the game is a little bit heavier now. And that's what we get with throttling 50% of the CPU. At least you're getting an idea of Cyberpunk with a 13900K and a bunch of RAM and the 4090. Okay, so here we actually come back to the, the 40. But it actually drops a little bit there. Start driving again. You see it immediately drops. It doesn't sustain the, the 40 FPS value. Okay, now we're just going to push it 25% more. Okay, we're just 25% more. But, but so, you know what? Let's just do 80. 80. 80%. 80 With 80%, it stays around the 40 that we're talking about. Do a little bit over. Just drive around. Yeah. So we're throttling. 80%, getting 4. Point, almost 5 gigahertz there instead of 3. Uh, you can see that it drops, but it actually stays around that 40. So what is the conclusion that we can come up with? Based on the game, it really depends on the game. Not, not so much if you're benchmarking the, the computer or you're running very intensive CPU apps like rendering. Um, or multi-threading threading, uh, rendering, but mainly games, okay, in this case. If the game engine does not support all CPUs, just a couple, you do not need to throw the whole CPU power to it. You can throttle that down, you can actually drop the, temp the temperature uh, on the CPU. I'm actually getting 66, 67. Before, I was getting, what, 90 or something before um, doing this video. So I want to show you what could happen if you actually throttle there. So we're getting the same FPS value, but with less uh, 
temperature on the poor CPU. So let's let's drop this a little bit more to 70 here. Okay, let's see if, uh, what I want to. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. So around 50, 50 degrees. So let's come back in the game again. We're again around 40. Look at the CPU temperature. It's around 57, 56. What the hell happened to that car? Um, yeah, the CPU is lower than the temperature of the GPU. And we're still around the same FPS value. It, this CPU is very powerful. That, that's all I can say. So again, we're around that. No impact in the performance of the game. All cool. And we actually dropped, I mean, we could say we dropped 50% of the temperature in one go without losing any FPS value. Now let's push the hell out of it to 100%. Again. And let's see how that monster behaves. Let's burn the CPU so we can cook something. Some meat. Look at the uh, temperature of the CPU. Going up like a monster. Um, and we get the same FPS value. So for 70, 80 of the performance of the CPU, the throttling there, we still get the same performance. We're just getting the same one, but we do get 30 degrees more. Almost 40. Depends on what part of the game I want, but that's what I wanted to do with this video. To showcase that you are able to throttle when, when you're using this type of CPUs, of course. When the CPU is too much for the game, then you can throttle. When it's not going to have that impact. And you can play around like I'm doing it. Like You can do quick quick tests and know that, ah, I can drop the temperature uh, and it won't have any impact. Normally, except when rendering these videos to, to for you guys, uh, what I do is um, I, I put it at 50. I just put it at 50. Like, I really don't care about the FPS when I'm playing. I just put it at 50. Uh, and I leave it there. I, I don't care which game. Um, so here, I'm, we're at 50. You can see the temperature literally dropped more than 50%. Uh, so we're at 48 degrees Celsius. Uh, and we're just, you know, look, look, look at the FPS. Sure, it dropped. Okay, but I do play at 1080. I don't, I don't play at 4K. So th there's no huge impact in, I don't know what's happening there. Like, I don't know what's floating there. Um, but, uh, okay, from that, that 40, I just lost, what, uh, between 2 and 4 FPS just by dropping 50% of the CPU. For me, it's, it's worth doing that. But I wanted to do this test so you guys can see how nice I drive. I mean, how you can lower the temperature quickly, test the, 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 the performance of the game, um, you know, and take care of your CPU. It's a beast. Obviously, don't do throttling when you're doing benchmarking or, again, rendering heavy stuff. Um, Unigen, uh, Unigen uh, Unreal Engine, Unigen Engine, you know, Blender stuff like uh, those monsters. Okay, um, everything else, it's dandy here. Again, look, it's only, yeah, it's like let's put it like that. In the worst case scenario, it's around five FPS less that I'm getting for fifty percent um, throttling. If I get it to 70, it's basically the same thing. So on Cyberpunk, if we were to play this or do the same thing on another game, the rules might change. So maybe uh, GTA 5 doesn't need so much, so many uh, cores being used, so you can throttle that uh, by 50%. I know CSGO, Counter-Strike uh, Go, uh, I can throttle this thing to, um, to 50%, and there's absolutely no impact on performance at all. Um, I still get like a thousand FPS or more um, in other games. Okay, it just this is for specific, and that's why I'm using Cyberpunk because it, it's a very CPU intensive game that actually detects all all 32 cores th threats in this case. So hope you liked the video. Uh, big hugs to everybody and think positive as always.
Bye.